Let's have a look at question two now. So we have the preference given by this utility function where we have square root of m and m is our wealth. Now initially we have 2500 euros with the probability a half we can lose 900 euros. Now we could buy an insurance that tells us that it's gonna insure us against this risk of losing 900 euros and we have to pay a premium for it. Now how much are we willing to pay for this insurance? What's the intuition here? We must <coughs> or let's say we will pay for the insurance if this gives us a better expected utility or if at least is the same expected utility without the insurance. In other words, the expected utility with the insurance must be at least the same or better than the expected utility without the insurance. In other words, we must calculate the two expected utilities and see where we go with that. Now, what's going to be the expected utility if we do not buy an insurance? The expected utility of having no insurance. Well, in that case, we know that we have a probability of 1 over 2 to lose 900 euros. So with the probability 1 over 2, our income is just going to be 2500 minus 900. But since we're calculating the expected utility, we have to take into account the utility function. And our utility function is the square root of our income. Hope this makes sense. Now with the remaining 1 uh, over 2 probability, we would have that we don't lose the money, right? If there's a half probability that we lose the money, the other half is that we don't lose the money. So we would keep all our money, all our income, square root of 2500. Now let's work out the math here, see what we get. The expected utility of having no insurance is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of 2500 minus 900 that's equal to 1600 and here we still have 1 over 2 times the square root of 2500 well square root of 2500 is just 50. Now let's work out the math over here and what see what we get let's uh, let's write it here right next to it we would have 1 over 2 times square root of 1600 that's equal to 40 plus 50 times 1 over 2 that's 50 divided by 2 which is 25 now, what is the final result? The expected utility of having no insurance is equal to 1 over 2 times 40, that's equal to 20, plus 25, so that's equal to 45. This is our expected utility without insuring. Now, let's contrast this with the expected utility of having an insurance. When we would have an insurance, then we know there's no probability of losing money. So we would keep our income, we would keep our full income, but then we just have to pay for the insurance. So we would pay our premium. That would be the expected utility with the insurance. And what did we say? We said that the expected utility of the insurance, expected utility with the insurance must be at least the same as the expected utility without the insurance. So if we work out this math, let's see what we get. Let me just zoom out real quick. So if we work this out, let's see what we get. We will have the following. We will have um, 20, this one, square root of 2500 minus the premium must be greater than or equal to 45, which is the expected utility without the insurance. Now we have a square root on the left side to get rid of it. Let's just raise to the power of two both sides, both sides. So we would have 2500 minus the premium must be at least 45 to the power of two. That's equal to uh, 2025 let's take the premium on the other side let's take the premium on the on the other side and the 20 to 2025 on the left so 2500 minus 2025 is equal to 475 must be greater than or equal to the premium in other words if the premium is a, is a, is at most at most 475 euros we're willing to pay for it to insure against this risk if it's more than 475 euros it's not worth for us because our expected utility tells us that it's wiser already to take the risk since in that case we would have a higher expected utility from taking the risk instead of paying so much for the insurance hope this makes sense in the next video in the next video we'll still solve one more question related to insurance